I'm Rob Haygate, I'm a miller here at Haygate's Flour Mill in Bugbrook. It's a family business. We've been here for 300 years, maybe more. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm here to show you what happens inside a modern flour mill. These days it's quite difficult to get inside a modern flour mill. They're big factories uh, with lots of machines in them that produce the flour that we use uh, for so many of our foodstuffs. In the flour mill there are various types of machines ranging from roller mills which crush and grind the wheat to sieving machines which sieve out different size particles to purifiers to brand finishers all of which we will see. Um, this helps to achieve the end goal of producing flour. Although they're big and although they're modern what happens inside isn't so very different to what happened uh, hundreds or even thousands of years ago. What they're doing is taking wheat, which is the grain that we use, and converting it into flour. In fact, they do it a little more slowly than the old-fashioned stone mills. It takes about an hour for wheat to go right through a modern flour mill, uh, compared with a few minutes in an old stone mill. It starts off with the same material, wheat that comes from the farm. It's harvested by a combine harvester, but when it comes from the farm, uh, there's still some straw, some stones, and some chaff that have to be separated out. And mills do this with a variety of different machines. They use <coughs> sieves to separate out the chaff. Uh, they use magnets to take away any fragments of metal that are still there in the sample. Uh, and they use special sorting machines to take away stones uh, that are still there in the sample. So once it's been cleaned, we have a nice sample of clean wheat, which is ready to go onto the flour mill. And wheat's one of our most important food grains. There's about 650 million tonnes of wheat produced every year around the world, which is used for feeding people. And that's what we use for making bread, biscuits, lots of other foodstuffs. It's one of the most important things uh, that we have uh, growing on the farms around the world. Everything that comes out of a flour mill is here in the grain and none of it is wasted. It will all be used for making food for human consumption or any that's not required for us will be used for animal feed. So the miller's job is to try and separate the grain into its different parts. So inside here there's white flour ready to be extracted, there's bran from the outside and there's wheat germ. The way this is done is through a gradual process. This is some wheat after a few seconds in the flour mill when it's been through the first break system. You can see there's the skin of the, of the wheat, which is the bran, and the miller's going to try and keep these pieces as big as possible so he can separate out the flour uh, from the bran. And in fact, everything that comes out of the flour mill later on is already here in this bowl. If I give it a bit of a shake, you can see the bran sitting on the top and here in the bottom is some nice white flour. And that's the miller's job, to sift the flour, sift this material, grind it up, treat it separately. A few minutes later on in the flour mill, this is semolina. As you can see, there's a lot more white flour in here because the large pieces of bran have been separated out. And this will be put through a machine known as a purifier, which blows air through the stocks and separates out the small particles of bran and allows the semolina to be cleaned up a little bit. So it looks like this, nice whiter semolina, which is the same sort of uh, food that you can make puddings out of. You can make semolina from wheat, which is what flour millers do. You can make semolina from other grains as well. It's got a nice, coarse, sandy texture, and that's going to be ground up to make fine white flour. A few minutes later on in the flour mill, this is white flour. It's almost got a silky texture to it, quite different to the semolina. And that's perfect for making bread, or depending on the wheat that's been selected, biscuits, pastry, cakes. That's the white flour. It's from the very centre of the grain. If you want to make wholemeal, 
We simply mix the white flour back uh, with the, the bran that was separated out earlier on. The bran and the germs all been put back in here so that it is in exactly the same proportion as it was in the original grain. And there are little particles of bran you can see sitting in a, in a wholemeal flour. We don't eat as much wholemeal flour as we do white and quite a lot of the bran that's taken off is used to make, uh, it's sold as bran or it's used to make uh, breakfast cereals like all bran or bran flakes. But even then, we don't use all the bran. So some of that will be ground up here with the screenings to make wheat feed, which is used for animals. So this goes to feed the chickens and the pigs. So nothing gets wasted in the flour mill. Everything that comes in goes out again, either for us to eat or for the animals to eat. So here it is, the finished product. The wheat's been into the mill, been cleaned, milled, ground, broken down into different fractions of bran, wheat, feed and flour, and the final product being white, brown or wholemeal flour. It can then be taken all over the country on our lorries, in bags or bulk, and for anyone who wants to make bread, cakes, pies or any other product that you can think of using flour.